Oh yeah, una go tire. Una never know Nigeria. Una never see Nigeria. <laughs> Idris Bobriski have both male and female organs. Uh -huh. So the, the court is not sure where to put him. Let us listen to what is going on at the court where they confirm after medical examination that Bob, Bob Risky has both male and female's organ. And according to them, that's why they put him in a special place. Oh yeah, let's listen. During the admission, we discovered that Idris has a peculiar uh, features that can not allow us to see in the general In this, we have the admission board has to enter into a meeting to discuss on the best practices and the best way to manage it. Then we arrive at the conclusion that we have to put him in a protective custody, which we do. And uh, he spent his time at Medium, the 10 days, in our B Ward Room 2. B Ward Room 2 of the facility. And alone in that particular room. Why we did that is that because we have to abide by the international best practices and according to the, our laws. If you look at the Correction Act, chapter 2A, 2 a we find out that we have to abide by the international human rights as approved by the United Nations. And because of the United Nations Act, that's chapter 2, 1A of the Corrections Act, and also chapter 13 of the Corrections Act, 1A, I O B. 1A, I O B. The section, section, section 13, 1A, I to B, where we have to ask, uh, look at certain features of an inmate before we use a particular management style. Uh, correctional management is not done on social media, it's not done on the pages of the newspaper. It is a professional job done by well trained officers for corrections management. And everybody, notwithstanding that our laws maybe have not actually recognized 